X cube. This is the X cube on the couch. You can also call it the plus cube if you really want, because that's what it looks like. Don't mind the stickers. I've been working very hard on trying to figure this thing out, and it has not stood up the test of time. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve it, and including one of the hardest parodies I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, here we go. Let's immediately- wait, 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 wait. Before we get into this, we should probably simplify things a little bit. Let's cut off two extra layers on the outside that we don't need. This is the 3x3x5. Three three a lot of people have seen this before, and it is basically the same thing as the X cube. Both of these puzzles solve basically exactly the same, though I would say the X cube is a little bit easier, because you could do one special move on this that you can't do with the 3x3x5. Three three and that is called... Commutators. Hey look, it's our good old friend the V-Cube 7 that is absolutely disintegrated and not stood up the test of time. What is a commutator? Well, let's say you want to switch this piece right here with this piece right there. You can do a simple move that looks like this. Did you catch that? Essentially, I swapped two of these pieces by replacing one edge with the other edge and then putting that edge back in its place. If that doesn't make any sense, which I know it didn't, allow me to break it down for you a bit more easily. First, line the two pieces up that you want to switch, this black piece and this orange piece. Then, just move the black piece down where it needs to go. But now this orange piece is down here and it's got nowhere to go, and you have this entire orange row that needs to swap. So turn that whole layer over to the side so that you're lined up with another edge piece, or so that you're lined up with another orange layer. Then just move that layer down so that it creates another perfect bar. Now all you got to do is put the first bar back and pull it back up into place. But then what is this? You've got this other bar set up. Well, good thing we did the commutator because now you can just put it back where it came from and slide it back into place. And with a couple extra moves, would you look at that? We've swapped two pieces without doing anything else to the puzzle. And you can do that with these pieces going around the side. There's a bit of extra steps that come from it, but don't worry, we'll worry about those when those problems come to us. The parody. We will get to this problem when I've come to it, and I've had to put together an algorithm that's basically an amalgamation of five different algorithms at the same time, and it was a nightmare to figure this out. But don't worry, we've got you covered. So let's scramble this thing and see what it's made of. just did, don't worry, I've got an explanation for you. First, you have to scramble it without changing the shape, and then you can start shape shifting afterwards. Now, this looks pretty terrifying when you first see it, but I promise there's a reason for everything going on here, and I'm gonna go over it one step at a time. Step one, solve the white side like you would a regular three by three. I'm gonna be using the layer by layer method for this, just so that I can go over everything the way that I'm most used to doing it. And we're going to go with the white layer first. So literally all you have to do is the same thing as you would do on a regular Rubik's Cube. Look for a white edge. It really doesn't matter what's on the top face. We're going to sort all that out later, but just don't worry about it right now. Just put the edge in, make sure that it's on the white layer, and once it's set up, then you're good. Do the same thing until you make a cross. wondering about all the edges going around the outside, shut up, I'll get to that eventually. There we go, we've made the white face. The rest of the puzzle still looks like an absolute disaster and you can't tell that I've done anything. Now we're going to try and get the edges into place. Again, it doesn't matter what edge goes where. All that matters is that this thing stops looking like a giant cluster f So we're going to work on putting the edges back in. I'm just using the same edge algorithm to put edges back in. And hey, look, this one, the top and bottom actually match. Who cares? They're going to change positions anyway, so nobody cares. And finally, now all we have to do is, uh-oh, uh-oh. This comes when you put an edge in backwards on a 3x3, three three. so all we really have to do is just take a random edge out and then just try and flip it over. And we keep doing this until it eventually uh, results in us having an ideal solution. So I'm just going to try this again and see if this time it works. And 
Yes, it did actually. So yeah, just keep doing that. Now we're going to start doing the edges on the top layer. Now this is genuinely just the same as a three by three. I'm sure there's a better solution for this puzzle, but I'm not gonna worry about that. And now we gotta do the corners until we got the yellow face. at that. The easiest part of the solve is done. We've got an X cube shape again. Now is for the miserable part to begin. So buckle up, we're gonna start learning algorithms here. So you remember how earlier I was talking about commutators? It's time to put those commutators into place. What are you doing on screen? Get off screen. Thank you. We've got a clear table now. So first of all, it really doesn't matter what's going on around the edges. We just want four solid faces of color that match the centers on the outsides of these faces, which is very easy to do if you look at this puzzle like a five by five. Also, if you look at the fact that pieces can't change orientation on this stage because there's literally no way for them to, they're locked onto these four faces. So you'll never have to worry about edge orientation. Thank goodness. But at this point, it is pretty simple. You just wanna make four solid faces of color, which is pretty easy if you just look at the edges first and then we'll get to the corners later. So we're gonna do the red side first. I'm literally just going to do all of the red edges first because all that really matters is making the edges and the crosses on all four of these sides. And we'll do all the extra stuff later. So don't worry, we'll get to it all. And then just do the same kind of thing that you would do on the 5x5 five five if you wanted to switch edges around, or centers around, I mean. We bought a green cross and we got a red cross. Everything is looking great so far, although we do have a bit of an issue over here. But don't worry, we can fix that right away. And now we have all the crosses. It's time to start doing commutators on all these corner pieces. So I'm just gonna worry about these edge pieces on the blue. Focus on a side and just start doing commutators until you eventually solve that one particular side. So we've got the orange and the blue lined up. We're going to do our commutator, which will put the orange piece where it needs to go. Oh my gosh, this puzzle has not stood the test of time. But hey, look, we solved the blue face. And we've almost got the red face, or the orange face done. The red face is not looking too happy right now, so we're gonna do some work on that next. Let's try this green one. And I might be saying, well, that looks the same. You really didn't do anything. Uh-oh, we got one in. So now we just gotta do that again. And would you look at that, two corners solved and the green face is solved. Now we just have this annoying case. We're gonna have to do commutators from the orange face to the green face and then from the green face to the red face, which is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna time lapse this. With the tremendous amount of trial and error done, we finally have this thing put together. I actually don't know if this puzzle's gonna survive the solve because it really does not like turning here. So now that we've got the easy part done, we've done our commutators, we've got these edges, now I figure out what the hell do we do about all the This doesn't look solved. If you showed this to a non-cuber, they'd say, you're stupid. You're stupid, you don't know how to solve. So how are we going to go about doing this? Well, don't worry, we will get to everything in a moment. First, we're going to deal with the corners and then we're gonna deal with the edges. And we're basically just gonna do this one side at a time and just go it sequentially. I'm gonna start with the red side because red is my favorite color. Now, the first algorithm we're going to be learning is essentially putting this corner here and this corner there. And you can do this as many times as you want, but considering the fact that these two corners are already in place, I'm just gonna put them in place, don't worry. We'll fix the edge, shut the hell up. I'll get to that eventually. But for right now, we're just worrying about the corners and these two need to flip places. So the algorithm essentially goes R2, U, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, D, R2, U prime, R2, U, R2. Allow me to demonstrate that algorithm in action. So with the two edges that we need to swap facing the right, we do R2. Oh my gosh, this thing does not turn. U, R2. U prime, R2, U prime, these are basically just uh, slicing this entire layer to the side. R2, U prime, R2, U, uh, R2. And what would you look at that? We've solved the yellow side and the green side, and now 
we just have these two edges to worry about. It looks like a weird parody, but don't worry, we'll take care of that. Now all we gotta do is the exact same thing for the rest of the edges around the cube. So look for two that are solved, like these two right here. We gotta flip these ones, so we do our algorithm again. And now we have this whole face solved. And likewise, we just, we keep going. We keep looking for corners that need to be switched and we just keep doing it until all the corners are where they need to go and we just have to worry about these annoying edges. And finally, all the corners are solved, and we have this lovely chunk of terrible looking annoying parodies, but don't worry, it's time for another algorithm! This next one is so simple that I don't even need a book or anything to show you. So let's say you have an edge here, and you want to switch it with the edge right here. Well, that's a bad example. Let me see if I can find a better one. Is there a better one? No, there isn't. We're just... You know what, we're just gonna go with these two. You wanna put this edge here. Swap the places of these two. R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2. That's literally the entire algorithm. Don't worry about this, we'll fix it later. But look, you see that these two edges are swapped and now we have these two edges. So if you can find that case more times, then just go ahead and do that. I, I swear we'll get to this eventually stupid case that I was talking about. The stupid parody at the beginning of this video, we will find a solution, but in that case, it's time for another algorithm. So at this point, we have these two edges right here. They need to flip places. Well, here's the algorithm, here's the algorithm to do that. My gosh, I'm stupid. Put one edge facing forward and one edge to the right. And presumably the, the side where this, this stupid thing is on because this algorithm will fix that problem. And then you do this, R2, U, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2, and would you look at that if it doesn't pop? Oh my gosh, there we go. We fixed the stupid case and we have fixed the top layer. And now all we have to do is do that for however many more times there are edges. So it's time for another time lapse. So at this point, we just have two edges that need to be flipped. And we also have two over here, but don't worry, we'll fix those sooner or later. So now we just have to do the R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2. Oh no, what is this? It's the parody algorithm we've heard so much about. You know what that means. It's time for another algorithm, and this is the one that people are gonna need to know. First of all, you're gonna need to put the cube into a state where these two edges are switched. So we're going to do the R2, U, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, R2, oh my gosh, U prime, R2 situation, so that just these two pieces are switched, and it's time for the parity algorithm. Watch closely. If you mess this up, you basically gotta start all over. Okay, so I just did the whole thing for the parody algorithm and I, I ended up doing it backwards. So you know what, we're gonna do it again and I have a perfect example. You have to get the cube into this position so that one edge is facing forward and one edge is on the right. Hold it so that the edge on the right is, is actually on the right and where you need to switch it. Watch very closely and do this algorithm. If you mess it up, you basically have to start the entire solve over again. U, F, B prime, U, D prime, F, U prime, D, F prime, B. Now, you just gotta solve it again. There's really nothing to it, but if you solve it again, the parody will be gone, and I can guarantee that. Watch the time lapse. We've 
done it. We have survived the parody. Even though this is, is technically on the wrong side, I believe there is a way to fix that without destroying the entire rest of the puzzle. All we have to do is turn this to the side, move this up like this, turn it back to the side, and then do our algorithm. And now, if we turn things back, no, nope, that's the wrong. If we turn things back and then do a U move, we have two more parodies. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> ah, uh, ah, uh, it's annoying. I'll, I have to figure it out somehow. How am I supposed to do this? I thought I had it figured out. I genuinely thought I had it figured out, but I don't. This is gonna take some thinking. I'll get back to y'all when I have a solution. Okay, I believe I got it. I just moved the two layers with the parity cases to the same side. So one was this way and one was that way. And I just did the algorithm twice. And so now if I put this back. Hallelujah.